Yeah, we back. We back. Now, today's video is going to be a follow-up video to the one I dropped last night in regards to the situation surrounding Jonathan Majors. As we already know, guilty verdict, got fired from Disney, Marvel, whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm going to take the topic in a different direction, as I always do. So I'm going to talk about what can black men learn from the situation? What lessons can we extract from the situation? Now, I want to talk about Jonathan Majors basically losing his job, right? As you can see, Jonathan Majors fired by Disney and Marvel Studios after the guilty verdict. Now, I'm seeing a lot of conversation happening on social media. You got some folks saying Jonathan Majors is a victim of the system. You know, they, they persecuting the black man. They're trying to take the black man down. You got other people talking about, man, that's why you shouldn't date the white women. That's why you got to stay away from the white women. There's a lot of different angles to the conversation, but I'm going to add my two cents. But before we get into that, let's jump into the article. Take a look up on the screen. Jonathan Majors is out of the Marvel Studios kingdom. The news comes today in the wake of the Emmy nominated actor being found guilty of assault and harassment in his domestic violence trial by a six person NYC jury. A studio rep confirmed the news about the decision to not move forward with Majors in the MCU. Now, for those of y'all who follow the case, I haven't really followed the case too heavily, but from what I can gather, the man had a had an argument, you know, with his girlfriend in the backseat of the Uber. She caught him texting one of his side chicks. You know, as expected, she she was pissed off. She blew up. You know, it was a confrontation. She grabbed his phone, wanted to go through his phone. He tried to grab the phone back. It was an altercation, a confrontation. And one thing led to another. He tried to step out of the vehicle. She tried to follow after him. And then he ran down the block, you know, ran down the block. She chased after him, things like that. And apparently the courts found him guilty because when he was trying to step out of the vehicle and she was trying to grab his phone, when he pushed her off him, that counts as harassment, right? Like not maliciously, but the laws are different in every state. So I'm assuming the state that he was in, you cannot really use physical force. Even if someone tries to take your property, in this case, the girl was trying to take his phone, you cannot really use physical force to get your property back. It's, it's the same thing how in certain states, if somebody breaks into your house and you shoot the intruder, you can be charged with murder, right? So, and if you go to other states like Florida or whatever, you could blow somebody away in the middle of the street and you could probably go home and not even go to jail. And I say all that to say, the law is different in every state. So first things first, black men, you gotta understand the law. Whoever you are at in the world, you gotta understand the law. That's why when I'm in New York, I don't have no weapons. I don't even carry a knife. But when I'm in Florida, bro, I got big shit. I got big shit that could knock your whole head off your shoulders. So you gotta understand the law, bro. You gotta understand the law. But in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Jonathan Majors getting fired from Disney, Marvel, fumbling the bag, losing a whole bunch of money, leaving a whole bunch of money on the table. And I'm gonna talk about what black men can learn from this because I don't see enough people talking about this level of the game, right? So now, Jonathan Majors, I remember last year, man, he was the talk of the town. Everybody was like, man, this is a new guy on the block, man, this is the new guy, you know, Jonathan Majors, Jonathan Majors, you know, the name was buzzing, name was ringing bells last year, I remember, and I don't even watch movies, I don't watch TV, but for me to hear about Jonathan Majors, that's how you know he was making noise out here in these streets. Now, first things first, I just want to say, I hope the brother was stacking his bread. I hope he was saving his money. I hope he wasn't tricking off his money. I hope he got some investments. I hope he saved for a rainy day because this is why you save for a rainy day. Now, when I made my video last night, like I said, I didn't really come at it from the angle of, oh man, it's the persecuted black man. Oh man, it's the victimized black man. Oh man, nah, nah. Because in my opinion, if black men had our own economy, had our own industry outside of the, the mainstream power structure, if black men had our own independent power structure in terms of film, music, whatever, then these situations wouldn't really matter. It wouldn't really matter. Because the way I look at life, I look at it like this. Why is Disney, why is Marvel Cinematic Universe, why is that the gold standard? Why is that the, the benchmark? Why is that what you wanna, what is, why is that the ambition that you set for yourself to achieve? right if black men had our own equivalent to the so-called marvel cinematic universe or disney or whatever big movie studios warner brothers sony pictures walt disney studios all the big distribution companies if we had our own equivalent then these situations wouldn't really matter because it would be black men in charge it would be black men that's the ones calling the shots that's in charge of hiring and firing so obviously because due to the fact that Jonathan Majors doesn't have any alternatives outside of, you know, the mainstream power structure, which is Hollywood, then yeah, it's going to hurt him. It's going to hurt him because black men have not established our own equivalent economy that can compete with the established names. And part of that is due to the fact that 
we are raised to instead of creating and establishing our own we want to run after you know the other man's shit run after the other man's shit oh i want a job working in hollywood i want a job working for cbs i want a job working for goldman sachs but you don't aspire to create a company establish a brand establish a business that can compete with goldman sachs that can compete with sony pictures that can compete with uh universal music group whatever it may be whatever industry you are in and in a situation like this with jonathan majors where as you can see hollywood has decided to cut ties with him in this situation it should be an independent black owned movie studio that's ready and willing to take our brother in connect with him link up with them be like listen bro you don't got to work with them folks up in hollywood you don't got to work with them white folks bro come on down bro come on down we got a brand new script we working on right now we got a brand new movie i think you're gonna be perfect for the role bro we should have our own economy equivalents where our brother could come in and integrate himself into our system controlled by us by us for us you know what i mean but because we don't have that our brother right now he's out in the cold by himself he's out in the cold with nowhere to go unfortunately and that's why a bunch of y'all sitting on social media talking about it's the persecution of the black man the black man oh man they trying to tear down the black man but if the black man had his own economy if the black man had his own system if the black man had his own had his own everything you can't tear down the black man you can't tear down what the black man has established for himself but because the black man has not established this for himself it is easy to tear him down it is easy to bring him back down to size it is easy to snatch up everything that he worked for because he didn't establish it from the ground up by himself and when I talk about establishing our own economy, you know, you got to think about, let's talk about the film industry. It's so many different roles in the film industry. It's so many different jobs that can be created. If black men had our own economy in terms of the entertainment industry, which we dominate when it comes to sports, we dominate it. When it comes to music, we dominate it. When it comes to film and movies and just in general entertainment, black men dominate it. So why don't black men dominate the business aspect of the game? It's cool to be on TV. It's nice to be on the court. It's nice to be on the football field, the basketball court, the soccer field, whatever. But how come you don't want to be up in the executive suite counting up the fucking money? How come you don't want to be behind the scenes cutting the check? How come you don't want to be behind the scenes approving the script? How come you don't want to be behind the scenes like really calling the shots for real? It's cool to be on a TV screen, the movie screen. I mean, that's cool, whatever. <laughs> you know, it's, it's whatever. But how come you don't want to be in the executive suite, in the executive office, really counting up the check for real, really getting money for real? How come you don't want to be in that position? And if we are in that position, then our brothers have some level of protection to where when things like this happen, and when the mainstream power structure decides to cut ties with him, he has alternatives to choose from. He has somewhere to go, right? He has somewhere to go because he knows, listen, my brother's got my back. Hollywood don't want to fuck with me? Fine. You know, listen, my brother's got my back. We're going to be independent with it. Independent, 100%. We doing it by ourselves. Like, that should be the mentality. That should be the mentality. So, but, you know, it's unfortunate, bro. It's unfortunate, but that's the reality. But think about it. We already have black writers, black playwrights, black actors, black directors, black producers, black videographers, black photographers, black sound engineers, black technicians, black editors, black graphic designers, black animators. We already have all of these. We already have the talent in place, but the talent is used to work for these big companies, these big companies that that's established already in the industry. But we don't have our own equivalent economy. And because of that, that is why when things like this happen, when guys like Jonathan Majors lose their job, everybody starts crying about, oh my God, they persecuting the black man. They're coming after the black man. But if the black man had his own shit, you can't come after the black man. I'm not going to fire myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to cancel myself. So, you know, this is a consequence of not having your own shit. You know, black man got to have your own shit, bro. Even in the industry that I'm in, I see black men working together, right? I'm in the pharmaceutical industry. I see black men working together. I see the collaboration, right? For example, the black primary care doctor or the black psychiatrist is connected to the black pharmacist and the black owned clinic gets their medication from the independent black owned pharmacy. But you can't establish your own economy if you don't have your own shit. You have to have your own shit. And besides having the black owned film studio, you got to have the videography companies, the sound production studios, the distribution companies, the marketing agencies. It's not enough to just be the actor. It's not enough to just be the man on the big screen. You got to be the man behind the scenes getting the money too, bro. You can't fire the boss. The fuck is wrong with you? And the same thing goes for the music industry. It's not enough just to be the man on the stage. It's not enough just to be the rapper. No. You got to own the studio. You got to, you know, you got to own the studio. You got to own the record company. You got to own the streaming company. You got to own the distribution company. You got to own the production company. You got to own the publishing company. And don't forget, don't forget, we need the lawyers too. And we got to own the legal firm that employs the lawyers as well. So yeah, we need, we, we need to own everything. That's That should be the mentality. You should want to own everything that you create, everything that you establish. You should want to insulate yourself in your own economy to protect yourself. That should be the mentality. That way, nobody can tear down the black man like y'all be saying we already got the talent but now it's time to own the talent now it's time to control the talent 
it's not enough just to have the talent. You have to control the platform onto which the talent is being displayed. It's not enough just to be talented. No, you have to control the talent. You have to own the talent. And when situations like this happen, it shows you that black men are not in control and ownership of our talent. It reminds me of the situation with Kyrie Irving from last year when he said what he said about the Jewish community. That's because Kyrie Irving did not own his talent. He did not own the platform onto which his talent was being marketed and displayed to the world. It's not enough just to have the talent. You have to own the talent. And when you control the talent, when you are in a position of authority and power, listen, you're not gonna fire yourself. I'm not gonna cancel myself. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, bro. It reminds me of a situation I had, right? There was a client that we had at the pharmacy. Now this guy, you know, this is a very difficult client, you know, very difficult client. And uh, I guess he got into, uh, there was a misunderstanding between him and one of the supervising pharmacists. And I'm assuming that this client or this customer, I should say, I'm assuming that he felt that he had the power to get this pharmacist fired. So he decided to go up the chain of command and complain and, and insert a complaint. Now, keep in mind, this pharmacist is one of our best new additions to the team, right? Like he's one of the best, most efficient pharmacists that I've ever worked with. You know, shout out to my boy. Um, and he tries to complain right so he went up the chain of command and you know lodged a complaint and things like that but guess what guess what the homie is still on the team he's not fired you know we're not gonna fire the homie no we're not gonna fire him because you wanted to lodge a complaint no fuck out of here because we in control over here we run shit over here you don't run shit over here bitch so you know no nah. when you are in control listen you can't cancel the black man when the black man is in control no because the black man has the final say when the black man is in control so what i'm saying is this brothers control your talent control everything that you establish so you can have the final say in this situation jonathan majors was not in a position to have the final say but i guarantee if black men had our own economy as it relates to the film industry jonathan majors would not be sitting at home unemployed right now no because we would not have fired our boy we would not have canceled our boy no hell no but you know like i say man like i say it's a learning lesson and i think he'll be fine he got to bounce back independently though you know independent movies independent films maybe might have to go on youtube and start a podcast i don't know i don't know what the future holds for jonathan majors but it's some lessons we can learn from this it's some lessons we can learn from this the black man needs his own economy simple as that man simple as that anyways man it's your boy nefakari the Celine back in the building yes indeed cash app up on the screen and i'm gone peace Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. There for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play all my money I see you ain't caught Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so at least Shorty be chugged And I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces